Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be showing you how an Android Wear smartwatch works with iOS. Google has finally released Android Wear on iOS. The app is currently available in the App Store for free, and for this to work, you'll need to have an Android Wear smartwatch, although there is only one at the moment that is compatible, but we ended up using a Moto 360 and it worked just fine, so you can try out your Android Wear smartwatch. You'll need to have an iPhone 5 or up, and you'll need to have a updated Android Wear smartwatch which you can do by connecting it to an Android smartphone. If you don't have an Android, find a friend with an Android or use an Android tablet if you have one of those. And I'm already connected between these two here. If you guys wanna check out how to connect it, it's really simple, it takes less than a minute and you can find instructions over at Gadjax. So when you're first connected, you'll go through a short tutorial if you want. I skipped it and here you can change the watch face that appears on your watch. If you tap on more, it'll show all the ones that come with it already. But if you go to get more watch faces, you can download third party ones. I currently have a third party one on this one here. You can see it here. Okay, so here I am on my Moto 360, which is connected. Here you can see a notification on my watch face. This is from my messages app. If I tap on it, I can swipe up and I'll be able to view text messages. I won't be able to reply to these, but I can view them. Uh, if you swipe down even further, here you can see the rest of the notifications in order from when you last received them. To Gmail ones, I can actually respond to them. So if I swipe right, I'll be able to archive the email, delete it, or reply to it. Then I'll also see other notifications. Uh, here's WhatsApp. For this, I can't do anything. Uh, the only thing I can do is block the app. That's what appears when you can't really interact with a notification. Here's a notification from Vine. Uh, here's a missed phone call. So if I do receive a phone call on here, it'll appear on the watch and I can answer it directly from the watch, but I can't speak on the phone on the watch. Further down, I'll find a notification from my calendar. Uh, here is a CNN app notification. Here's the weather app and here you can swipe right to view the forecast for the week. But for the most part you really can't interact with notifications uh, unless they are directly from Google. Here on my watch I have play music so if I play a song it will appear on my watch and I can control it. So here you can see the band, the name of the song. If I swipe right I'll be able to control it from here. So go to next and lower the volume. I did try out Hangouts, but it's not interactive. I also tried Translate, there's really nothing you can do with that. And so maybe in the future when Google updates their apps, it'll be interactive with the watch on iOS. And from the watch face, you can use OK Google. Remind me to go to the grocery store at 7 a.m. tomorrow. And so this is a quick way to set a reminder. You can also set alarms. You can show your steps in case you have your health apps connected to the watch. Uh, and you can check out your agenda for the day and start a stopwatch and a few more things but it's sort of limited. You can also just say OK Google and then say a random phrase that you want to Google and it'll show you results on the watch which you can then send to your smartphone to view them on there. So as of now it's a bit restricted. There's not much that you can do other than view notifications or interact with notifications that are from Google Apps. And even then, it's just a few Google Apps. So maybe in the future, uh, functionality will expand, but for now, it's okay. Uh, if you guys have the watch already, then yeah, you can connect it. It's obviously not going to be as functional as the Apple Watch, but it does decent with notifications, but it does provide a nice interface just to view notifications. And that way you don't always have to open up your phone uh, to see what you've received. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadgex. All right, thanks, guys.